Hi guys, Lucy aka The Watchbox Diaries here with another video for you. Now, unpopular opinion about Watches and Wonders this year, I thought it was kind of lacklustre in terms of new releases. There were a handful of standout pieces though, and a couple of pleasant surprises. One of these pleasant surprises came from a Holy Trinity member, Vacheron Constantin. Now, if you want an overseas, that is a little bit more suitable for a smaller wrist, and isn't covered in diamonds, well, tough. That was the case until this new release. Vacheron announced a new addition to their overseas range, the 34.5mm little number, and guess who managed to get their hands on it? It's me. I managed to get my very large spade hands on it. Quick fire specs, this stainless steel watch has polished and brushed casings, comes in at 34.5 millimetres with a thickness of 9.33. It has an hour, minute, seconds and date function, 150 metres of water resistance and houses the 1088-1 manual wind movement. Now, starting with the dial, what a dial it is. Vacheron Blue is just a different level. It goes from a dark, inky, bluey black to a full, deep blue that just shines so incredibly beautifully when that light hits it. I mean, how can you not just fall in love with that dial colour? It has simple, sword-like hands with just a sliver of loom on them. The date window is matched pretty well with that 3 o'clock marker, so it does sit pretty inconspicuously on the dial. And one of the other things I love about this dial is the fact that, other than the branding in the top half of the dial, the rest of it is nice and clean, so that beautiful colour can do the talking. Moving on to the casing now, and I am so, so happy they brought it out in this size. Although it comes in at 34.5 millimetres, I do find that integrated bracelets tend to wear a bit more on the larger size. So I would say this wears a little bit closer to, say, the 36 millimetre Rolex Explorer. The quality of the casing is everything you expect from Vacheron. It is completed to incredibly high standard and it's beautiful to look at. The bezel is the instantly recognisable overseas shape. And when I put my little teaser out just before I released this video, a lot of you guys guessed it based on the little glimpse of the bezel that I left showing. The bezel relative to the rest of the watch is a little bit on the chunkier side, almost like when they were reducing the 41mm down, they didn't reduce the diameter of the bezel. Not that it overpowers the watch at all. Moving on to the bracelet, it is the classic Vacheron design. It's incredibly comfortable to wear and just hugs the wrist perfectly. This watch comes with the brand new strap change system, which based on Vacheron's previous feedback, they have made a lot easier to use. It's a very simple yet very strong little pull down clip that is on both the bracelet and strap options that just attaches to the lugs of the watch meaning that strap changes are super quick and super easy. It does have half links in case you are between sizes, but if you need a little bit of on-the-fly movement, it has a quick adjustment system. You simply pull on the bracelet and you get a little bit of extra breathing room. It is a little bit more fiddly to make the watch smaller on your wrist, but I'm sure with time you get the hang of it. This watch uses the 1088-1 manual wind movement, which is good, but it's not quite the movement that they put into the 41mm version, and it is teeny tiny. Although it doesn't carry the Geneva seal, it is finished exceptionally well and is still damn pretty to look at. This movement has 40 hours of power reserve, which isn't bad, but you guys know by now, I always want more. Now, comparing this to the 41mm version, there are a couple of differences. 
The most obvious difference is the outer chapter ring or lack of in the smaller version. I guess it's similar to what Chapek and Christopher Ward even have done with reproportioning the dial and the layout of their watches when they size down. The crown on the 34.5mm watch does protrude a little bit more or appear to protrude a little bit more but I guess if they size that down too much you wouldn't actually be able to grip it to turn it and then it kind of defeats the purpose of it being a manual watch and you kind of need that function. The movement on the smaller is kind of subpar, no it's not kind of subpar, it is subpar to the movement in the 41mm version. I do wish they had have used that movement and scaled that down. I don't know, maybe I'm asking too much, but it is still pretty to look at. Ugh. I am just in love with the aesthetics of this watch. I could stare into that deep blue dial all day and be happy. The finishing is impeccable and I've always had a love for that bezel and bracelet design. So not only is the bracelet beautiful, but it does also come with two other straps. The stainless steel is perfect for every day. The rubber is great for holiday mode or when you're feeling a bit more cash. And the leather strap is ideal for smarter events or special events, just a bit more classy. I've also heard that they have a lot more colour options coming soon. Smaller watches seem to be trending at the moment. You'll see multiple brands releasing a smaller version of their pieces and I couldn't be happier about it. I would say sizing wise, this is ideal for someone with a five and a half to six and a half inch wrist. But you guys know by now that I am a huge advocate for people rocking whatever the hell they want. You wanna wear a smaller watch? You wear that smaller watch. This watch gives us itty bitty wrist committee members a smaller classic style overseas. And I love it. I cannot believe I've managed to get my hands on one so soon after it actually being released. Yay! Now, obviously me and my little wrist are very pleased with this new release, but I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below, would you rock it? Do you have a bigger wrist and think, do you know what? Statement piece. Do you have a smaller wrist and you're jumping for joy? Do you have a problem with the fact that the movement's different? Let me know everything. That is it from me, people. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed my content and you want to support my channel, then make sure you do the youtube -y things. Make sure you've liked and subscribed to the channel. And if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos, all you gotta do is click the little bell and YouTube will do its thing. Until next time though, bye.